Nitrous oxide is a performance bargain, but it does have some challenges. When bottle pressure is low and temperature is low, it makes your tune run rich and that can affect performance. And one of the challenges of running nitrous is keeping that bottle warm enough to keep temperatures and pressures up. Now, the stupid way to do this is to hit it with a propane torch. Not only do you run the chance of lighting your trunk on fire, but there's also a very strong possibility that you'll damage the bottle, which can cause it to fail later catastrophically, either when it's being filled or when it's being heated again. A much better solution is an electric bottle warmer like this one. It's got a thermostatic control so it won't overheat the nitrous bottle, but the problem is that because it's running off the car's 12 volt electrical system, it can only warm up so fast. It's great for maintaining the temperature between passes, but on a cold morning it can take more than an hour to get the nitrous pressure up to the desired 900 to 1000 PSI. Ideally, you want something that's portable, safe, can deliver heat quickly, and won't overheat the bottle. I think I may have found a solution in this, a reusable phase change heating pad. The pad is made from a flexible silicone shell filled with a solution of sodium acetate and water. Now this is what's called a supersaturated solution. At room temperature it wants to be a solid, but because there's no impurities in it to start a crystallization, it stays liquid. At least until we click this little metal disc inside, which triggers a solidification process. Going from a liquid to a solid releases a lot of heat, but at a controlled rate, which is perfect for what we're trying to do. In just a few seconds, the sodium acetate solution goes from a clear liquid to a milky solid and heats up, wrapping it around the bottle, transfers the heat, and brings up the pressure. Now, unlike the one-shot heating pads you normally find in sporting goods stores, the sodium acetate pad is reusable. Once it's cold again, you can recharge it by putting it in boiling water for a few minutes. The heat melts the solution back into a liquid, and once it's totally clear, it's ready to cool back down to room temperature so we can use it again. It doesn't wear out, so we can repeat the cycle over and over again. We'll be testing these pads out this season at the track to see if we found a solution to our problem of getting the bottle temperature up quickly. At 25 bucks a piece, they're not cheap, but since we can use them over and over again, I think we'll get our money's worth.